Hi everyone. Are you looking for a good read aloud for upper elementary or maybe even middle school students um, that has growth mindset in it and teaches empathy for others who might be uh, different than the average student in your class? If you are, I have a recommendation. The name of the book is called A Blind Guide to Stinkville by Beth Vrabel. Um, Beth Vrabel has written the Pack of Dork series and she wrote this book and then a sequel to it called A Blind Guide to Normal. A Blind Guide to Stinkville is a wonderful story of a young girl by the name of Alice who was born with albinism. And in addition to albinism giving her very light colored hair and light colored skin, it also gave her and most um, people who have it, um, a condition called nystagmus, which is where your eyes move back and forth an awful lot. And that makes Alice considered legally blind. Alice, her brother James, her mom and dad have just moved from um, um, from the West Coast to Sinkville, Alabama, which they quickly renamed Stinkville because of a paper mill and the fact that it is so smelly in the town. This is a beautiful story of how someone who supposedly has vision issues can actually see things about the town and about the community that maybe other people have been too busy passing by and haven't been able to see. So as she makes friends with Karika and gets to know another girl, Sandy, both of whom she meets in the library, as she goes down to the lake and sits with Mr. Hamlin and talks to him, as she gets to know Gretel, the owner of the diner, and Mayor Hank, who has a secret crush on her, maybe not so secret, um, she starts to take in some things things about her world that um, that are enlightening. This is a really wonderful book. It reminds me a little bit of, um, has some elements like fish in a tree um, in terms of someone coming into their own and being able to see um, and maybe see and recognize more about themselves than they had first thought. I highly recommend this book. Um, if you are interested in doing this as a novel study, I do have um, a novel study um, questions and packet available on Teachers Pay Teachers. I don't tend to ask a lot of right there kinds of questions. I tend to ask a lot more probing, deep questions because I tend to do small groups where there's a lot of discussion and the focus is really on the discussion. So if that interests you, you may certainly take a look on my um, Teachers Pay Teachers store. That's it for today. Um, until next time, I'm Marion Pearsall Miller from Mentoring in the Middle. See you later.